Elaine was diagnosed in May of 2015 and she was 15 years old and the type of cancer that she was diagnosed with is alveolar rhabdomyosarcoma. She was a tennis player and her foot started hurting and when you're an athlete you just kind of work through the pain and when we went to the doctor it was diagnosed you know as tendonitis or you know a sore muscle or something like that and so once we finally got a true diagnosis that it was cancer you know several months had passed and this particular cancer is a very aggressive cancer and so by the time we found it it not only was in her foot but it was in her shoulder when someone tells you that your child has cancer, it is just, you're, you just can't believe it. And um, just the journey that we went through, um, 10 months of chemo and radiation and just destroying her body trying to kill this cancer. It was horrible for her. I mean, from the very first chemo treatment that she took, it, it made her sick, her hair fell out, um, you know, she looked sickly. If you saw a picture that was taken in May of 2015 and then even saw a picture that was taken of her in June 2015, you can notice, noticeably see the difference. And that is the harsh drugs that were ravaging her body to try to kill this cancer. Prior to that diagnosis, she was a very healthy child. She, you know, never complained about anything, even during her whole uh, cancer treatment. Really the only thing that cancer didn't take from her was her smile. Those drugs were uh, developed in the 1970s. You know, since 1980, there have only been three new drugs approved for children's uh, cancer research, compared to thousands that have been uh, approved for adult cancers. In 2015, the National Cancer Institute had a $4.93 billion budget, and of that budget, only 4% went for uh, research for childhood cancer, 4%. I mean, it's a slap in the face. It's insulting when you have a child who's diagnosed with cancer and you, you know, you're having to use drugs that are 30-year-old drugs that aren't working. With this foundation, we want to make people aware that it can happen, and it does happen. And there's children that are being diagnosed every day. And unfortunately, I know all too well the journey that those parents are gonna take. The hashtag that I've been using this year is, what if it were your child? And it's not meant to you know, try to guilt people or anything like that. It's meant to try to make people stop and think, you know, what if it were your child? What would you be doing if it were your child? If someone had told me 18 years ago that my child was gonna come down with cancer, I would have been spending every day of that child's life trying to find new treatments, find new cures. And really with childhood cancer, you're up against a wall. So we're joining with other organizations and you know trying to learn what they learn there's good research that's going on at children's hospital there's a, another doctor that i've been in contact with um, in cincinnati that has good rhabdo research going on and and so you know we're looking for those types of opportunities to be able to donate money you know a lot of people do feel like that they are on the brink of being able to um, find new treatments, get cures, and things like that, but, you know, for childhood cancer, it, it's slower. It's, um, the adults are first, and it, I guess one of the things that's so astounding to me is that we do all that we can for our kids. We, you know, try to give them everything. We try to teach them. We want them to be better than we were, and in a society, we are only putting 4% of 
of our money towards our children and it just is totally backwards to me. Of course, uh, donating, um, you can donate through our website at elainerobertsfoundation.org. Um, we have several events throughout the year um, that you could help volunteer, you can um, you know, participate in that way. If you know of families that are going through this battle, certainly let them know about our foundation. If you don't already have a mission, um, I hope that you will join ours. Um, you know, of course, the cause is near and dear to our hearts. Um, I hope and pray that you don't have to go through anything like that, but I hope that you will join us and help spread the word about childhood cancer. You know, Elaine's fight is over. I mean, thanks to Jesus, she won the war, but we lost the battle, and I just, want parents to know um, what can happen. Maybe, maybe you get behind this foundation and it never happens to your child, praise God. But what if it does? What if it does? So I just, I want there to be new drugs, I want there to be new treatments, and we want to do everything that we can to help make that happen.